everybody. So, you, I, you see my new background? Well, actually, this is the, I think it's a curtain. This looks like a curtain. I'm going to call it a curtain. Um, I am hiding a project that I'm working on uh, under here because uh, I'm in a swap with somebody. Well, I'm in a swap with Tisha. And we've swapped before. You guys have seen projects I've shared that she's made for me. Um, and hi, Tisha. Um, I'm under instructions to open this package, even though I haven't finished my project. So I wanted to wait until I was done and shipped hers out. But she's like, no, she wants to see me do the video. So I've opened the box. I haven't peeked in yet. It's over here. And we are swapping fabric lace books. Um, and so mine is up underneath this curtain here. <laughs> That's why you don't see my normal pink, um, uh, what do you call it? Craft desk. So there's lots of these in here and I'm going to take them out so I can share with you what she sent me. And I see something. She sent me more of this felt from Daiso. Love it. <laughs> I really need to make something with these. I have to think of something for this summer. I think um, would be perfect for this kind of stuff, right? So strawberry felt from Daiso. Thank you, Tisha. And then, ooh, wow. Here's the card. I think this is a card. Wow, look at this beautiful card. It says, cherish yesterday, dream tomorrow, live today. And she has made, wow, look at all of the, texture on here oh this is beautiful and then this um wood veneer piece here oh i love it this is so pretty and all the flowers in here mm. so let me just read the card oh okay she says the flowers on the parcels are pins, so you can reuse them. Okay, we'll see what that's all about. So I'm just going to put that over to the side so they don't get crushed. Oh, I see. See how pretty she's packaged them? Fabric butterflies. Oh, yes. She asked me about them. Ooh, I can't wait to see those. Let me pull all the packages out. They're so pretty. This is heavy. Oh, the lace book. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm laughing for a reason. Now, she asked me, she said, okay, how big do you want to do a lace book? Now, her her book is much bigger than I thought this was going to end up being. Um, I said six by six. And then, because, um, you know, you don't want to, I don't know. It's one of those things, well, she's international and, you know, for us to ship it back and forth, it gets expensive. So, you know, I said six by six and, you know, three to four pages. And then she said, um, I can't work in that. I need to make it bigger. Is that okay? And I said, sure, that's fine. Um, so mine is a little bit bigger, but mine is not this big. <laughs> See, and this is why I wanted to wait because I, I, I kind of wanted to make, um, make it be a surprise but also um I didn't want to be influenced by what she had made that's the reason why I was holding off but she told me to open it so I am and I'm going to open the lace book first because you know the goodies are just a secondary thing um for what we're doing this is so pretty oh I love how this feels it feels so good and yeah she's got it pinned so lace book first guys and hopefully I can just pull the um, bow. Yep, she did it very well. And I'm going to take this out and put it aside. But she's got a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it with it against the, there we go. See how fluffy that looks? This book is very heavy. I saw what she paid for postage and I was like, wow, that's, that's quite a bit. And, uh, this is pretty washy too. Very shabby. You notice how I'm not ripping it? 
Well, I'm going to do that. This is going to take too long. I'm already at five minutes. I've been talking too much. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Hers is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I feel really bad because... Wow. And she's she's done hers ahead of time. We arranged this swap some time ago. Oh my gosh. Look at the side here. She's taken all she's I bet you she made all of these little hearts. She's made all of these little hearts and put them on seam binding and there are four five strands, six strands of different types of hearts, and each one has a tassel at the bottom, and it's attached to the top of the book. Oh my gosh. And then, look at the bottom here. Look at this. Can you see all of that? Did you dye some of this stuff too? There's, okay. I have never seen this type of lace before. See this lace? It's got all these little interconnecting pieces here. And then in the middle of each of the flower is a little pink pearl. Now, I don't know if it came that way or she put them in, but that's a lot of work. And then at the top of the where the lace is, she's got these little pearls in there too. That's amazing. And then look at this, oh my gosh. Wow. And, um, okay. So she asked me what theme I wanted to make the book and I said butterflies and flowers. So that's the reason why this part here has a, a butterfly on the front. Um, and then she's used tons of lace for the flowers. Oh, this is beautiful. Tisha, see, now you know why I wanted to wait. <laughs> I'm trying to move stuff around so that I can, when I open the book, there's enough room to show it all because there's a bin right here of laces that I can't move because it's underneath. Wow, okay. See that? Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this video in one video and try not to rush it. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the one side. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Look at this butterfly here. And then there's another one on the side. She, she put a pocket here. See how beautiful that is? And it's so thick. I was wondering how I was gonna do that, but wow. Amazing, amazing. And look at this side. So this side has also butterflies. This one's a pink one. Did she? I wonder if she dyed this herself. And then she's got some um, butterflies here and it's got like a rose print. And there's one of her flowers again, like the front one. And she's tied a bow here. Oh, oh my gosh. This is amazing. And then this one has a pink, pink page. Oh, and she's put a butterfly in the middle. See, I didn't watch her video. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Her YouTube channel is the Tisha85 Crafts, or Tisha85. Um, I'll put the link below in the description box. And she already showed a video of her book, but I was w not watching it because I didn't want to um, peek. I wanted to be surprised. And this is amazing. So if you're interested in how she made this book, um, she shows it in her own video. Wow, oh look, this is a sweet image. Oh wow, I think she's a, is she a fairy? She's climbing a tree, she's in a tree. And there's little like, I don't know if those are cherry blossoms or not, but she's sweet, very sweet image. I love this, this applique you used here too. This is beautiful, I love this pale pink. Um, I don't know if she dyed this herself or she bought this, but that's beautiful. Okay, I'm hooked. Okay, let me, um, one of the butterflies is hooked. She made, um, a whole bunch of butterflies 
and uh, I'm presuming she made them partly for the book but partly for herself too um, and so here's one side of the next page these I love this trim I've never seen lace like this it's a it's a butterfly with the dangles down coming down isn't that amazing and then she's used this fluffy trim at the top oh my gosh that's beautiful I love all the images she used and then she kind of mixed it in with this is amazing Tisha she said that when I came up with the swap idea she said that she's never you know she's always been wanting to try this and me too as well and look at this she even sewed the butterflies oh that's amazing she's oh, I love these these are awesome do you see these guys she's got these um, flowers down the spine of the book and this takes a lot of planning because you know the book is gonna grow so you have to leave the gusset um, in the middle so you have enough room for it to grow oh my gosh oh I love this page I love this page for the images I'm gonna have to figure out how to display this because I want to be able to see it and I mean like look up and see it maybe I'll get like a um you know one of those stands that you use for recipe books and just keep it open to a page oh and then I can just change the page whenever I feel like looking at something different oh look at that oh look there's real feathers in here she, she's wow Tisha look at the image on this side this is what I was saying I like that I like this page because they're both like very shabby prints the teacup with the butterflies oh my gosh Tisha this is amazing you went above and beyond <laughs> I feel bad because my book isn't done yet and it's not this big <laughs> oh gosh oh wow and then she's oh Oh my gosh, I really do hope you like my book when you see it. <laughs> oh, look at this applique. Oh, it's pretty. And then she's used these um, leaves too. I don't, I don't have a lot of this kind of stuff. And that's what I was afraid of was I wouldn't have enough stuff. But I've been buying so much from Esme's store that I really have been able to handle it. So she's signed it back here. And um, the back cover is pretty much, you know, oh gosh, she's used, oh, I love this pink butterfly. You guys see that? I love that pink butterfly. Oh, it's pretty. Her book is amazing. And then here's the spine again. You can see these flowers down the, oh, wow, wow. This is so amazing. So this is going to be part one. This is the lace book. And I will come back and show you the goodies that she sent to me. Okay.